Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining Westlake Fire Department in this year's 2020 Safety Fest Fire Station Tour. Obviously, this year's uh, climate with COVID going on is a lot different, so you guys are going to get a chance to follow me around behind this camera and take a look at what Westlake Fire Department looks like from the inside. Here we are in our meeting room. Our meeting room is used for a wide variety of things. Uh, primarily for the station, it's used for our monthly business meetings, any large scale trainings that we do in house. Uh, and then again, it's also available for the community. Uh, the community has used this as a polling location. Uh, we've used it as a church location as well. So again, it has many uses that it is available for. Hey guys, I guess you can tell I'm here at the gym. Uh, obviously, the duty of a firefighter EMT here at Westlake requires us to stay in functional fitness shape. Uh, so we have been blessed with the opportunity to have an amazing gym uh, with all of the equipment that you're going to find at your big box gyms, all located in one place. One of the inherent risks that we run here in the fire service is firefighters are 68% more likely to develop cancer. One of the measures that we've taken here at Westlake is we've provided our firefighters with a firefighter decontamination unit. Uh, it fits fire, four firefighters in here at a time uh, and firefighters use this after uh, they come back from a fire scene. Uh, so again, one of the measures that we take here to prote protect our firefighters and EMS staff. Uh, also, we provide them with a life scan that we do every January. We started it this past year and we do it, or we're going to continue doing it each January uh, to allow our firefighters early detection on things such as cancer. So again, one of the many steps that we're taking here at Westlake to keep our firefighters safe and healthy and in fit condition to uh, serve the community. All right, follow me so I can show you where we're about to uh, reverse all this working out stuff. So you found me here in the kitchen. I think this is where the magic happens because some of the best meals cooked here in Houston, Katy, Texas, West Houston area. It's done right here at this stove. Um, this is our kitchen. Uh, again, this is probably one of our, our focal points um, when folks come on the ship. Uh, we usually congregate here at the table in the morning over a cup of coffee, uh, usually sitting there going back and forth about what today's uh, specific duties and tasks are. And all that gets done here in the kitchen. Uh, one of the uh, neat features here in the kitchen uh, with this stove is anytime we drop a call, uh, the gas is connected to our call system and it is cut off. And there's two buttons over there on the wall, a red and a green button. So if we're cooking when a call drops, the gas automatically cuts off. So that way we don't run a risk of burning down our station and having to call somebody else to come save us. Uh, so when we come back on that call, or if somebody doesn't have to go on that specific call, they'll just press the green button and fire the stove right back up. And we're back in business, cooking, ready to go. So one of the things here at Westlake, our shifts are 12 hours long. Uh, whether the shift starts at 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., firefighters and EMTs need time to rest. And they do that by sleeping in these comfortable confines of the dorm rooms. Let me give you a look. Come on. Oh, hey guys. I guess you guys caught me sleeping. Um, so again, as, you, as you've already seen, uh, this is our dorm rooms. Uh, each of our dorm rooms is furnished for us to stay here for our 12, 24 hours, however long our shifts may be. So we're provided with a twin size bed that we can add our own flair to. So I've got my college blanket and Hot Wheels uh, sheet set on my bed. 
Uh, each room comes with a desk so that we can continue working, whether it's on homework that we may be studying for, uh, for any promotional exams, uh, or anything of that nature. Um, and then because we like it to feel like an Arctic blast, we've got a tower fan and a ceiling fan. So one of the cool features that, uh, that we have to get used to when we're on shift to wake up for a call is we're alerted by an overhead system. Yes. So that system is tied into this red light. Um, oh wow, actually one just dropped right now. Actually, if you guys... So, during our downtime here when firefighters and EMTs are not training, uh, we come in here and enjoy some movies or TVs or sometimes gaming systems. Uh, this is our theater room. Uh, we have three TVs in here, uh, two off to the side and one main TV. And then we top it off, we got a projector. So on those Sundays when we're on shift and we're trying to watch the big game on a larger TV, we drop the screen down, enjoy it. A lot of back and forth because you know some guys like uh, different teams. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, by the way, but uh, right now we're not doing so hot, but we won't talk about that. Uh, neither are the Texans. But um, again, have the couches in here for our members to uh, sit back and relax uh, during any downtime uh, when we're not busy doing other things. Here we're in our game room here at uh, the fire station. Um, we have a ping pong table and a pool table and then also another gaming system attached to this TV. There's a lot of trash that is topped in this room. Um, specifically before this shot was filmed, one of the guys tried to ch or is challenging me to a ping pong match tonight. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll update you guys in the comments, but uh, I'm going to win. But, uh, so again, a lot of the guys come in here, hang out, uh, play games, guys and gals. Um, it's just a fun area to hang out. Hey guys, we're here in the uh, officers' quarters. Uh, these are rooms that are provided to our officers that are on duty, uh, whether it's day or night. Uh, these, uh, these rooms uh, serve as also a dorm room for the officers. Uh, it's also got a pull-down bed, uh, got a TV in here. Uh, but one of the major differences is it has a computer in here for the officers to uh, complete their, their reports and their logs uh, for that specific ship that they're located in the Bay Area of Westlake Fire Department. This is where we house all of our apparatus here at the station. Uh, here inside the bays, we had a medic truck, three ambulances, two pumpers, and one ladder truck, and then also our high water vehicle. Also, depending on the uh, time of the year, we potentially will have our uh, water rescue boats over here, uh, just in case we need to uh, have them ready to deploy uh, if there is a need to uh, rescue somebody that is in the water. Uh, so again, these bays, it's six bays, it is pull through bays, so that way we can circle around the whole station and pull straight through and be ready to go with the apparatus facing the front of the station. We are in the bunker gear room. Uh, this is where all the firefighters that work here at Westlake Fire Department store all of their bunker gear. Um, most of you guys out there may know what it is, but uh, inside of a locker, that it's where we'll put our helmet, our bunker coat, our bunker pants, and boots, and then some of the miscellaneous equipment that we may carry on ourselves uh, while we're riding the uh, fire trucks. Uh, so also located in here, I, I mentioned earlier in regards to our cancer preventative uh, program that we have here. We do have a gear extractor. It is a machine that is specifically made to extract the toxins and, and chemicals out of our bunker gear uh, when we are on fire calls. Uh, and then we also have a gear dryer that is, again, uh, specifically designed for drying our gear uh, in a timely fashion and so we again we have those uh, two pieces of equipment that allow us to uh, wash our gear uh, and have it ready for the next call um, again back on, on board with the cancer preventative measures that we take here. Right, well we're back to uh, where we started 
Um, hopefully you guys were able to get a sense of what uh, the department looks like um, through this virtual tour. Um, again, I, we, we completely understand that uh, the times are, are really crazy right now and unfortunately you couldn't be here with us in person. Uh, but hopefully this will suffice for you guys uh, and when everything returns back to normal as it will, um, hopefully you guys are able to come in and we will see you guys face to face. Uh, so, again, stay tuned, check us out on social medias, uh, where we'll periodically share what we're doing through, uh, throughout the department, uh, whether it's events, trainings, uh, we put everything on our Facebook page, Westlake Volunteer Fire Department, or our Instagram, Westlake underscore FD. Uh, so you can go to those two um, social media links and see everything that's going on here at Westlake. Y'all have a good night.